What's up guys, as you know, Reefin ain't easy. You'll see right here that I'm actually running a test with both the Red Sea Phosphate Pro and the HANA Checker, and I'm gonna see which one is better. Let me just cut to the chase. The HANA Checker is way better. Do not buy the Red Sea Phosphate Pro kit. At least with my experience, maybe I did something wrong. Check out the video, like, do you see me doing something wrong? As far as I can tell, I did everything exactly as the instructions said, and I got a reading of zero, which the phosphate reading on Hannah was 0 0.05. So one of them's off, right? And the way I tried to figure that out was, because it's available through Hannah, is this is a calibration checker, which at the end of the video, I'll put more information about that and show you how you check it. But basically, it's a known solution. You put it in there, you make sure it is reading right. Now, full disclaimer, Hannah checkers have been known to get off, especially after a couple years. I have an alkalinity tester and it's off by about five relative to my Trident. It reads about five less. So if I'm at a 90 kH of alkalinity on my Trident, my HANA checker will read four, which is really off. However, this guy was right in the margin of error, right where it needs to be. So based on that, I'm gonna go ahead and say that this is correct. And you can see this was way off. So I don't like to like bash companies or be negative about anything, but in this reefing community, knowledge is power. I'm just trying to share and educate others to help them out. If you've experienced something like this, please let me know. If you saw that I did something wrong, let me know. If you have an explanation of why this would happen, let me know. I realize, you know, this is hobby grade test kits. You shouldn't expect them to be that accurate, but to read absolutely no phosphate and you can see at 0.04, it's a pretty big difference in color. It had no color in it at all. This is really just disappointing. Another thing I was really disappointed about is you can see from those photos in the center, it's supposed to have like a white background so that you can see what color it is, but you can see mine's all scratched up and has like a black line right in the middle. And this is brand new. This is the second time I've ever used it, which is like really just crazy. I don't know, maybe that's why it doesn't work. Maybe this was a returned product. I bought it off of Amazon, brand new, and those were the results I got. Another thing which I'm not gonna, this isn't Red Sea's fault at all, but just if you do have this or you bought this and you're watching this to learn how to use it and stuff, um, when you open this for the first time, be very careful. You know, when it ships, sometimes the air pressure inside the bottle and outside isn't equalized. That's what happened with me when I screwed it off, it started overflowing and it actually, like, because I just went like that, started overflowing, I was like, oh crap, dripped onto my pants and ruined my nice pair of pants. You can see there's holes in it now. This is sulfuric acid. If I saw this video and I'd only been using the Red Sea, that would actually scare me and I'd want to know what is my actual phosphate levels. If I was really using this, who knows? Maybe I'd have like, I don't know, 0.2 and think I have 0.02. It's hard to tell because this is so off. And you might just think, yeah, I don't know. I just can't keep some coral like Acropora. It just doesn't work in my tank when it's like, no, you totally could. It's just the test kit that you spent all this money on doesn't give you accurate results. That might be the reason. Yeah, you saw it firsthand, enough of me ranting. If you're deciding between the two, definitely go with the HANA. It's a little bit more, I understand that, but you're actually gonna get accurate results. These are about 12 bucks for 25. So that was something, that was a big reason why I wanted to try this one out too. If you're wondering why did I do this, other than just research, what happened was I'm making another video on this stuff right here, and I got some results I wasn't expecting. So I was worried, man, is my HANA checker off? And I did two things. So that's when I bought this to make sure it was on. And I wanted to get another test kit just to compare the results. And that's what kind of led me down this path. I wasn't planning on making this video, but that's what happened. Thoroughly white standard Corvette with lint-free cloth only handling the top. The Corvette wall must be dry and free of smudges. At the C1 prompt, place the A standard curvette into the holder of the checker and press the operations button. At the C2, place the B standard curvette into the holder and press the operations button. I'm supposed to get a reading of 0.37 to 0.43 if this thing is accurate.
Alright guys, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, all that good stuff. See you next time.